Carb Manager. Hi everyone, I'm Trevor with Carb Manager. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the Carb Manager app fast. I'll show you how to get your account set up, choose your macros targets, track your carbs, and just basically become a lean, mean, low carb machine. But before we start, I want to make sure that you know where to access all of our resources designed to help you meet your goals with keto and low carb in general and to make the most of the Carb Manager app. So first, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for Carb Manager tutorials, low carb tips, and exclusive keto diet content. And make sure to hit that little bell for notifications. Then, be sure to check out our extensive knowledge base at help.carbmanager.com for frequently asked questions and feature tutorials. Don't miss our article series right within the app that takes you in-depth on the keto diet with an exclusive introduction to keto for total beginners and articles that cover topics like macros, the keto flu, drinking alcohol on keto, cheat days, and more. You'll find those articles under the Learn About Keto link in the main menu. For premium members, don't miss our huge database of low-carb recipes in the app, which you'll find under the Recipes and Meal Plans section in our main menu. And finally, check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash carbmanager, where we post free low-carb recipes and keto diet strategies every week. Awesome. So let's roll into this quick start guide and get you set up and using the app like a pro. The first step in getting set up is to choose your daily macros goal. If you're new to low-carb, Macros are the ratio of fat, protein, and carbs in your diet. The easiest way to choose your daily macros goal is to step through the Getting Started wizard in the app, where we actually select your daily macros for you based on your answers to a few questions about your current weight, target weight loss, desired app settings, and so on. If you skip the Getting Started wizard, or want to go through it again to change your macros, just tap the menu icon at the top left of your screen to access the main menu, then choose Getting Started. Let's walk through the wizard together really quick. It first asks you to choose some basic settings on the type of carbs you want to track, whether you want to track all carbs, whether you use US units or the metric system, and so on. So then you click Continue, and you enter your gender, date of birth, height, weight, and activity level. This information helps us to calculate the perfect calorie goal for your body and lifestyle. So click continue again, and then here you're going to set your goals. So choose your target weight change goal. If you're tracking carbs for diabetes management or another non-weight related goal, just choose no change. We're going to choose lose one. Uh, once you choose a weight change goal, we have enough information then to calculate your calories goal, and it will appear here. So finally scroll down a bit and choose your preferred diet. We'll go ahead and choose the ketogenic diet. We then give you your suggested macros targets based on this diet. If you want to tweak the macros just a bit, maybe giving yourself a little more or fewer carbs, you can use the slider or type a number in using the keypad. When you're happy with your macros, just click apply, then finish. Awesome, so we've set our macros. So the next step is to log meals and learn your way around the daily log. You can think of the daily log as your home page for the Carb Manager app. This is where you log food and meals and keep track of how many carbs and calories you've consumed each day. You can enter food by clicking the plus sign in the upper right hand corner of the screen. From there, just search for the food to add. The app has a huge database with just about any food that you can imagine, including most specific name brands. So for example, we can search for Hormel which is a popular brand here in the US, and we'll see every product that they make. We also have most popular supplements, so if you're drinking an isopure low-carb protein shake or taking Metagenics exogenous ketones, for example, it's easy to log them with just a couple of taps. We're actually eating fancy tonight, so let's go ahead and add a ribeye steak. We'll just tap to select it, enter the portion size, we'll say six ounces, and we're having this for dinner, then we just click add today. And it's added to our dinner in the daily log. The macros for the steak have been deducted from our remaining macros for the day, and we can see that we still have a few calories and carbs left that we can eat for the day and still hit our goals. There's a lot more that you can do in that food section, like adding foods to your favorites for quick access adding foods by scanning the barcode, or even by just taking a picture, as well as recipes and custom meal plans for premium users. 
Check out the Foods and Meals collection in our knowledge base to learn more. Back in the daily log, you can also check out an in-depth analysis of your diet, log water intake, and track your steps. Next up, be sure to set any other health or diet goals that you want to track. Open the main navigation menu and choose Settings. Then, swipe over to the Diet Goals tab. Here you can set daily goals for calories burned, sugar, cholesterol, and most other common nutrients. Scroll down, and premium users can set net carb goals for each meal. A little further down, and you can set goals for vitamins, minerals, and micronutrients. Tap the Health Goals tab back at the top, and you can set a weight goal in pounds, goals for water, sleep, steps, BMI, ketones, blood glucose, fasting, and just about any other health metric that you can think of. So next up, we highly recommend that you create an account to make sure that you don't lose your data. To make sure that your data is backed up in case anything were to happen to your mobile device, and to enable data sharing between multiple devices in the web, you'll need to create a Carb Manager account. It's really simple. Just open the main navigation menu again, choose Settings, then under the Account Settings heading, tap Create Account. Enter your email address and password, click Create, and you're ready to go. So that wraps up our Carb Manager Quick Start Guide. If you liked this video and found it useful, hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment on YouTube to let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell for notifications to be the first to see our latest video content. If you're watching this video outside of YouTube, we'll include a link to our YouTube channel below the video. And you can also just search YouTube for the keyword Carb Manager. If you have any other questions at all, you'll find answers to most of them in our support center at help.carbmanager.com or in our other YouTube videos. And if you ever get stuck, don't hesitate to reach out to our friendly support team at support at carbmanager.com or from right within the app. Just open the main menu and click Settings. Then scroll to the bottom of the page and choose Contact Support. Carb Manager, the all-in-one diet tracker custom designed for the low-carb lifestyle.